woman that chooses marriage in this day and age is out of her fucking mind. No, come on, don't you believe in love? Uh, I certainly believe in consideration and respect. And I definitely believe in sex because it's healthy and necessary, but love? What is that? I mean, I have had plenty of guys tell me they're in love with me and not a single one of them has made any difference in my life. Well, then maybe you just haven't met the right one. Mm. I've met him more times than I care to admit. Well, then maybe you just haven't given him a chance. I've given him too many chances. <laughs> oh, come on, what's the longest relationship you've had? How many hours did that last? Why drag it out? You know, he's just gonna try and run my life or he's gonna want me to be his mother. Not all men are like that. Well, I have yet to meet one who isn't and I seriously doubt that I ever will. Really? Yeah. God, how can you live like that? Well, in the first place, it's not a major tragedy. I'm just being honest. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm just a hopeless romantic doomed to go through my life being disappointed. There he goes! Sniffling after little Miss Navy Blue Linen. God, look at the way he walks, though. Sure can wear a pair of pants. I mean, what's the payoff? <laughs> For having had that many women, you know, does it make him feel wiser, accomplished, or like, is it this drug that he has to have? Well, you've slept with just as many men. What's the payoff for you? Um, I have not slept with just as many men. How many men have you slept with? I don't know. A hundred? A hundred? I haven't kept count. Trisha, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, but like, Tommy Valentine is like Wilt Chamberlain, okay? He's probably slept with a thousand women. You don't think he's ever had an AIDS test, do you? <laughs> you better hope so. Did he use a condom in the parking lot? No. George Ann. I know, but, but you don't think he's something with another guy, do you? I mean, a guy like Tommy Valentine, as attractive as he is, I'm sure he's had opportunities. Yeah, but he's way too good in bed to be a queer. Okay, that doesn't mean a thing. I, I knew this lifeguard once. Oh, he was good in bed. Oh, he could have taught Tommy Valentine a thing or two. He loved sex. Loved it. He was an animal. And then one day, I come home and I find him in bed with a telephone repairman. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> uh, I guess that explains why I couldn't call him and tell him I was on my way. Oh my god. What did you do? <laughs> I went to happy hour at Bennigan's and I picked up a bus boy. No. Well, I'm too scared to take it. I mean, I know the chances are slim, but but with my luck. <laughs> and were you afraid? No. What made you go through with it? Well, I felt like it was a responsible thing to do, and not like hard guys. So. <laughs> Did you guys age? <laughs> 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 You're okay, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> God, I never knew anybody who actually had it. <laughs> you will. My <laughs> point was, I'll tell you one thing. I sure hope Tom and Valentine does it. <laughs> mm. oh, but I can't wait for him to lose his good looks. Oh, mm, he will. He's gonna end up like one of those hash of fish or men that really handsome guys turn into. That and not one of those great sex candidates from drinking his whole life. Yes, it's a good guy. And he'll lose all of his hair. No! He's gonna wear gold pants. And he'll wear gold pants. He'll wear green golf pants. Yeah. <laughs>